Okay, so now that I got the bulb part of Bulbasaur, I'm gonna try to make his body. Get my book here, it's gonna be my lap table since I ain't doing this at the table. My table, the reason why I'm on my couch doing this, well for one, when I felt, I like to be comfortable when I felt, cause it's relaxing. I don't like to be over a table. I like comfort to fit when I'm so unfelt. So, and plus, I have paper dolls and resin projects all over my table. And I have limited table space. <laughs> so, being here for felt is where to go. <laughs> I got my bulb part. Got my paper. Now, I'm thinking the legs and the upper body should be one piece. So let's see, let's say this is about middle, maybe this is about the middle-ish. Now Bulbasaur's legs are fat at the top and get smaller at the bottom. So let's say he's got a leggy there and he's gonna have maybe a leggy here. I guess we'll say about right here is about where his tummy gonna See, this is all just, who knows what's going to happen, you know, you're just, you're guessing, and you're just trying to figure out how it's going to look. This part don't have to be perfect. We're not trying to be perfect. We're just trying to get a general idea of what we're going to do. And maybe his back legs might be a little bit fatter or chunkier than his front legs i don't know i would think so i'm not i'm not a pokemon aficionado i just think they're cute and i used to play pokemon with my kids i even had my own decks and then they get mad because mommy you're too mean i'm like no i'm just using the deck the way it's meant to be used <laughs> paper is not folded in half because I didn't do it straight but this should be good and I'll cut it out and maybe at the neck maybe I'll cut we'll do an extra piece here this will be stuffed inside of the head and we'll make the head later on there's the top of my body oh that was a lot of work to cut that out he's got all these little well, my help, but <laughs> he's got these little spots. So we need to attach the spots right now. Spots, that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting the spots. What kind of spots? Most of them look weird. They don't all look the same. So I'm going to stick this one down and hold it over top of where I knotted it. Well. All right, so I'm gonna do a blanket stitch still. However, instead of getting on the edge, I'm gonna blanket stitch around it. So, let me see if I can figure out how to get it up in the camera. We wanna go through the main fabric or the bottom fabric and come up through the top piece of felt, or if I'm calling it fabric and it's felt. Well, felt is fabric. And you still want to go back through the loop because we're doing a blanket stitch still. So we're going to go under the bottom layer, up through the top layer, and always thread embroidery floss. Like, you can go back through embroidery floss, loves to try to knot itself up. So, under the bottom, through the top, back through the loop. We're doing this all the way around. Alright, so the first one is sewn on and it ain't going nowhere. So then I'm going to put it go through the back side. And I'm going to knot, I'm going to put a knot here. Now, I'm going to be lazy and I'm not going to cut it off. Instead, I'm going to position by my next to one, I think it's probably going to be somewhere about 
can maybe do it. But let's just say that's where, where it's gonna go. All right. So I'm gonna first come up through just the back and out the front, or the top layer, and then go through the back layer. And same thing again as I did this one. You go start from the back to go through the top layer and then go back through to do your first blanket stitch. Now the first one when you do it, since I didn't cut it off, it's going to want to tug and pull so you got to make sure that you don't pull too too high tight on the first one. But after that you can. Alright, so I got one side of my bulbasaur spotted. Now I got to do that side. <laughs> the same as this. <laughs> There we go. Now we got all our body spots on. So about, let's see, about yay big is how much the body needs to be. So somewhere around here is how thick, thick the body needs to be. Remember, we ain't got a pattern. We gotta figure this out. Where do we go? There, and I guess roughly about there. And then about somewhere around here, maybe. So let's say. I guess I didn't get it straight. Let's try to get a all home. That works, right? Trying to figure out how to make it tiny. Tiny as a bulbasaur. I know, this is the weirdest thing, and I'm not even explaining what I'm doing, but you could see what I'm doing, I'm hoping. <laughs> Unless I don't have the camera doing what it should be doing. <sighs> about here. I'm going to say somewhere around here. And then I got to figure out where the leggings go. That's the bum, neither the leggings, and the chest and, well, you won't really see this part when we're done, because, but this technically the neck, but not really the neck, because I'm going to just use this to help give the head some support. Okay, here are the tum-tums. I'm assuming the tummy of Bulbasaur is the same color as his body. I never really paid attention to tummy before. Now i got to think about what I'm doing next. I need to make the inner leggies. I need to make their inner leg. He's got these little claw toe, whatever those thingamabobber thingamajigs are. So it should have 
three toes or claws or whatever it would be. So let's say these are where markings should be. And I'm going to make them a little bit longer because it's going to... stitch around the top. I'm not going to worry about the this part here but everywhere else I'm going to blanket stitch it the reason being I don't you don't really have to however I don't know how rough this Bulbasaur will be played with and felt has the tendency to rip and tear uh, over time if they've tugged on and lot enough. And if you put a blanket stitch around the edge, because this is only a single layer, it's not a double layer, it's just a single layer, it helps give the felt a little bit more strength so we can handle being tugged on and it won't lose all of its I don't know, integrity is the right word I'm looking for I don't know well basically it's just going to make it last a little bit longer from being played with <laughs> alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going not this one. This one. <laughs> All right. This one. I'm going to sew on the legs. So I'm going to stitch front leg on. I got both inner front legs on. Now I gotta do the back legs. Kinda looking like it's taking shape. That looks like a tummy with some legs. Why not? Okay, now if I did it right, if is the key word. Oh yeah, I got you. Gotta make. I gotta make sure I put the right sides together. <laughs> All right. Right sides together, wrong sides out. Show around the leg, front and back leg on one side, or and the tummy section. And then I'm gonna sew, do it again on this side. And then I gotta remember while doing it, I gotta put the little claws in in it while I sew it together. Oh, so much things going on here. I'm going to do my claws that I made, and I'm going to open it up, like so, and I'm going to sandwich my claws inside, inside. Alright, so I have one claw sandwiched in here. Sandwich the back claw inside. Just be sure when you're sewing, you're just keeping them lined up. If they're off just a little bit, you can pull and tug on the felt, and it's very forgiving 
as long as it's not something major, but generally it'll it's felt has a little bit of a freedom and leeway. So how I'm going to fix this, first I'm going to go up the side, and where I want to start to curve, that's where I'm going to stop again, to judge my placements, I'm going to say about here is the middle. So I got to fan this out and make it fit. <laughs> got the booty in. Now we got to figure out the front. I wonder where I throw my needle at. I end up stabbing my couch with my needle on the arm. <laughs> it's my needle holder. <laughs> Because if I stick it down on the seat next to me, if I get up and come back and sit down, there's no telling me going to flop down and hit, get a needle in the booty, and I don't want that. Nobody wants a needle in the booty. Got that side, and I got to do this side. What? <laughs> I mean, it's looking like it might be getting kind of cute now, hopefully. I'm hoping it's working out. Okay, now the moment of truth. We're going to turn this in right side out, if I can. Do this little itty bitty hole. have enough hard time as I do trying to get this to push through. <laughs> that looks like a turtle. <laughs> Where are the legs? Where are them legs? Give me my legs. Oh, little toes. Oh, 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 look at this, taking shape. <laughs> I'm gonna stuff the thing. <laughs> Here we got body. Well, I'm gonna close this up now. Stuffing on the outside. <laughs> look, look, look. How chubby and cute that is. I'm starting to take shape like a Bulbasaur. So I guess we're gonna attach that now. This thing I'm gonna we put into there. Where I'm going to start, I guess I'm going to start about right here. Hello, go through. There it is. I'm saying. Okay. So what I'm going to do is. So this underline here, or the part where the bottom of the bulb, I'm going to try to sew back and forth between this line and the top of Bulbasaur. That's my plan. That's what I intend on how I intend to sew him together. So I'm gonna try to go through the go through the top and then go through the bottom. And I'm gonna do this all the way around. Go through the top and then go through the bottom. Sometimes you catch the felt where you don't wanna catch it. Now, if you were a needle felter, I suppose you can like needle felt these together, but I don't have the patience for needle felting. 
I wanted to be able to needle felt so badly because I thought the stuff that's needle felted was the cutest thing ever. And I really want a needle felted Totoro. But, I mean, some people say they don't got the patience for sewing, but to me, sewing is so much easier and faster than needle felting. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I think. But boy, I wish I had a needle felt tutorial. Because I saw one on Pinterest, I think it was, and oh, it was so cute. I love one. Alright, so I still have this part to sew, but um, can't forget to put this in there. Okay, about right there is the middle. Make sure we get our little viney piece in here. All that work. We don't want to suffer without forgetting to put that in there. Let's see. So we're gonna come up here. Now I'm gonna go through that little viney thing first. We want this to be held in place. And then we'll come up through the green, the light green will be part. And then we're gonna one more time go through the viney thing and back into the, the bottom. I guess since I'm about in the middle now, I'm going to quickly, if you could see, I'm going to go through the green viney thing in the middle, and it's going to be attached a little bit in the middle. We're almost there. Alright, now I'm going to go through the viney thing, and then there's our body so far. And you could pose these things on however you want them to look. Look at that! Look at how cute it's becoming! <laughs> I got cat hair. Cat hair! Come on, I wonder whose cat hair that is. 